Welcome to another video from Paraplays VR. And this is actually my second video for Water Bears. The original one was corrupt for some reason and I actually deleted the original video files like a fool before we actually got in to the game to try and fix out the video. So I'm gonna do this one as a bit more relaxed. The other one was a little bit upbeat and hyper. So here we are, I've got my cocktail. I've dipped my toes in the water and it's time to stand in this little orb thing here and jump in and have a look at water bears. Okay, so let's talk about graphics. Isn't that nice? It's got that kind of, the graphics that really do work in the HTC Vive, that sort of really nice cartoony feel to it and the 3D in front of me is really really good it's really good guys there's no jaggies whatsoever obviously and the fact that we can move around in full 3D still blows my mind for room scale VR and if we get up close you can see really beautiful it's got a kind of Diddy Kong racing if any of you played on the N64 you'll know what that is sort of like Rare's version of Mario Kart, I think. I think that's where it comes from. Right, so we're gonna go for Puzzle Pack 2 here. I can't remember which one I got up to. So let's just pick one of these. The controls are really quite simple. My right hand is basically the grabber and the pointer. Looks like it's got a little sugar cube on the end of it. We pick a level over here. We stand in it. And just like Star Trek, we are teleported down to Water Bear Puzzle Earth. So here we are, voila. This is level two, map two. Make sure each water bear gets their color of water. Now these little water bears down here, look how depressed they look. Look at him, he's got an hangover. He needs air of the dog, needs some more wine. Lambrini girls, they just wanna have fun, don't they? Right. So all we have to do is take these tubes down to them, down and below, but obviously they are colored so that we need to obviously get each coloured water to each colour of these water bears. And we have an actual set of pipes on our controllers. And if I click the left one, you can see these are the amount of pipes we've got. And it's going to be quite easy now because we're only really in the first stage. This is a mixer that actually mixes the colours. And if you're not too sure about your colours, you can come in here and have a look. Oh, I'm just getting carried away with our beautiful layers. La -da -da. I'm just gonna swim in a swing in a hammock here, right? So blue and orange, mid purple, yellow and blue, etc. So if you're not quite sure, there you go, RGB. So now we need to connect these pipes and get these water bears their pop, their wine, and their alka pops to make them feel better, so they can go into town, have a kebab, get in a fight, and get a taxi and spew up, right? So we don't actually lose them if you pull them off. You just actually need to put them in and twist them. And I'm being a little bit lazy here. There we go. You just need to grab it and move the position and it will actually move that pipe. And I can tell you now while I'm continuing this, I actually found this really, really addictive. It's completely different to any other sort of game that I've played on the Vive. And initially, I will be honest, the thought of water babies or water bears or whatever they are, did actually put me off a little bit because I thought, oh, it's, it's, it's a kiddie game. But it's not, it's, it's a thinking man's game. And obviously, as you can see on screen, easy peasy, but you think, oh no, that's not quite right. Well, you've got to work it out. And obviously, the further we get into this game, the more difficult the puzzles are going to get. Thank you. 
currently on the Steam library for $9.99 and that's in dollars. And if people haven't got the Vive, they can still play the game with an extended award-winning version of the game available on the App Store and Google Play. Same puzzles, but it's a different style, but obviously we're only interested in the VR version. The actual 3D quality of these little bears flying around is, is brilliant. It literally looks like it's right there in front of me. He's obviously got mullered and throwing up down a drain somewhere, or he's urinating in somebody's doorway. But don't let that spoil the ambiance of this beautiful beach. So, that's the premise of the game. Oh yeah, top stuff, no wonder he's mullered. Right, so once you've completed the puzzle, we stand back in the portal, we click the button and we go to the next one. And, as I've mentioned, there is something really addictive about this game. And, we're a little bit further in at stage two. I do hope that as we get later into the later stages, it is going to get really quite difficult because we know we are limited on the amount of pipes that we've got in our inventory. And as you'll see a little bit further into this video, even some of these quite basic ones can give you a little bit of a head scratch. So I'm hoping that's what's going to happen. Do you know what? I've just got this feeling I want to dance. No, I've got a feeling that an adventure game with these sort of graphics would be brilliant, a little bit like Zelda or Link. The fact that we could just get in a boat now and just, you know, row over with a sail, so you don't need to actually row it, um, would be amazing. But anyway, we're not talking about Zelda, we're not, we're talking about bears, water bears, and then they want to get mullered. So, as you can see, quite a simple one there, nothing too complex at all. So I guess the big question is going to be, is this a game for me, Para? Well, it's really subjective and quite a difficult question to answer because one of the recent videos I put up was Hordes, which I thought was really, really enjoyable, even though I can't get the multiplayer aspect to work of it yet. I thought it was really good. It, it, I found it much more engaging than the Brookhaven experiment, even though these are demos. There was quite a lot of scoreboards and it was just quite exciting to play. And some people, after my video on YouTube, said they thought it was brilliant. They thought, well, it was full of action. Didn't didn't see this video come out of left field. Never really thought about it till they'd seen my video and a little bit of a playthrough, and they loved it. And then there was other people on Reddit who sent me messages saying it was absolute trash. It was garbage, and they didn't want to listen to me again. And I even had a PM of, I won't name his name, because I don't want to, make his head bigger, sent me a message calling me a, a C-U-N, well, you know the rest. And that I'd, I'd wasted his hard earned money. I, I'm sorry, but I'm only going by my experiences in these games. And if I enjoy it, I'll tell you. Some of these games the devs do send me and I'm not gonna tell you I like the game if I don't like it. So that's how it is. If you look at my video, make your own opinion. I'm not telling you what to do. Try it, if it doesn't work for you, just get a refund, it's no biggie. There's no need at all for me to be getting that sort of abuse off anybody. So how we've gone from the sea word to this beautiful cartoon beach <laughs> with these cute little water bears, I've got no idea. So getting back to the original question, should you get this? If you want a bit of a puzzle, something that's different, it's not, you're not gonna be running around sweating like a sweaty beast. Your headset's not gonna be stinky and dripping afterwards. If you want something where you think, do you know what, I just wanna have a little bit of a, something relaxed, have a bit of a puzzle game, then this is gonna be really enjoyable. Not only just for, well, anybody really, but even for, for families and kids, if they wanna get into their first little experience with virtual reality, then this is probably gonna really appeal to them because you could have a, a mirrored version of this on your TV and your PC in your room or wherever you've got it. And you could actually play with your kids. You know, you don't have to put the headphones on, just turn your speakers on your desktop and play it together as a sort of a mutual game. So I'm gonna give this a thumbs up really because it's one of those games, it looks cutesy and when you actually get in and realize it is really quite addictive and 
It's one of those games when you jump in, you just think, I'll just do one more, one more, one more. And that's always the sign of a good game. If you want to keep playing it and come back to it, then yeah. So I'm going to give this a thumbs up. Make your own opinion. But so far, I'm really, really enjoying this. I'm not forced to say anything by the devs who send me these games, as I said. I make it perfectly clear that if I don't like it, it's just my opinion of one of a trillion gamers out there in virtual reality. So get out, try it, see what you think. But so far, I'm really, really enjoying this and I'm going to continue to play it. So I'll leave the video running for a little bit more and you can see some of the more, slightly more difficult, even though we're in the beginning of phase two, just out of the tutorial. This has been Water Bears on the HTC Vive and I've been a Paraplays VR and I actually really like it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye bye. Thank you.